Well, you know, as a strength coach, obviously, that's my goal every year. Uh, I love to be able to provide uh, the coaches with every everything they need, every weapon they need. Uh, they've helped me through recruiting. Uh, our players are bigger and stronger because you know, it's a combination. The guys they've brought in are bigger and stronger. So the guys that were here before, they know if they don't get bigger and stronger, then they're not going to play. Right? And, and I think the competition level, I think the, the different – uh, things that we've added to, to training this summer, uh, uh, it, the freedom and, and the resource that, that Coach Fisher has allowed me and my staff to have, you know, I think our players now know that we do this or our coach does this for their, their best interest. And, and so you see a combination of all these things that I think have given us that end result. Let's talk about some of those different things you did in the offseason. Mm -hmm. Maybe off the top of your head, what are a few things that maybe not maybe not different, but certain things you really did focus on specifically? Well, I think because because like you said, we they look bigger and we've recruited bigger. You don't have to spend time getting them bigger. Well, you know we always want to you know, maintain that, but it, you can you can start to shift your focus to things like speed and and power and flexibility and nutrition. Uh, I think all those, all those, uh, those other words like, uh, like, balance, flexibility, and nutrition. It all, it really, what I mean is recovery. And sometimes we don't like to use recovery in strength and conditioning. But what I've learned with these type of athletes, they're, they're, they're the best athletes in the country. Right? If you keep beating them up, they never, they never recover. Right? So, as good as we've recruited, I've got to actually. You know, me and my staff have actually had to develop ways to recover. Uh, now, you'll hear in the beginning some of the players thought it was easier because it's not running a stadium. But you know, we're, we're training accurately to hit, hit, hit different areas and, and, and different positions. So they wound up at the end not feeling that it was easier. Uh, and, and I believe uh, just a combination of, of those things and uh, working together in, in units as you know, helped us this summer. Obviously, everybody's gotten better in some kind of way, whether it's strength, whether it's flexibility, mm -hmm. any of the words you use. Off the top of your head, talk about a few guys that have really made maybe bigger leaps than other guys, maybe mm -hmm. if they were freshmen, because obviously mm -hmm. freshman and sophomore year, you sure. make, a bigger, make a bigger leap. A uh, few guys stand out. I mean, uh, to me, a guy that, that always uh, uh, comes to mind is a guy like Brandon Jenkins. You know, people tend to ask me, what, what does he bench press? What does he squat? What does he clean? Um, but a guy like Brandon goes from 230 pounds to 265 pounds and keeps his body fat low and still performs well. You know, to me, that's a, that's a combination of strength, speed, condition, all those things we talk about. And, and he may not get the, the, you know, the attention that some of the other guys that bench a lot do. But to me, that's, that's the most, most impressive. Uh, guys like Everett Dawkins that went from 258 or 260 to 300 pounds and uh, those are some of the guys I've watched over the last three years develop they didn't come in like some of these freshmen are now uh, but some of the older guys like Bjorn uh, has dropped a few pounds but actually has increased strength uh, he's gotten faster and and what people don't maybe not think about is that he's he's had uh, shoulder injury that has, that has prevented him from doing upper body movements but his commitment to training is actually he's actually gotten stronger post uh, post injury. And finally, let, people never really see this in, in practice a lot. Mm -hmm. But you always do a certain thing with a, with the running back in particular, and you know what I'm talking about. Sure. How do you decide about doing that, and kind of what, how did that how did that come about? Well, I, you know, I think sometimes it's you don't sometimes you don't want to be out there, you know, the players, and you got to find ways to motivate them. And, and if you got to be here, just have fun. Uh, uh, Ty Jones and I used to do it. I just used to, uh, I used to try to pick someone that I could, thought I could jump with, and uh, so now I'm, I'm kind of rotating with uh, Pender and Wilder and Freeman. Uh, you know, some of them are, they're getting too big and too athletic. Uh, I think Wilder's too big for me to do it with, so I think I'm gonna pick on Freeman for a little while. Uh, but you know, it's just it's just having fun. Uh, if you're not passionate about what you do. If you're not excited about being out there, then you're just going to go through the motions. And, and I told Coach, if he doesn't want me to do it, he better tie me to a goalpost or something.